You're watching the iPhone SE 2020 disassembly. So here we have the phone, take the plastic off. All right, before we begin, let's remove the SIM tray. Next, you have two panelope screws you need to remove on the bottom. Once those screws are removed, gently heat the front of the phone up a little bit so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen. And then go ahead and use a plastic pry tool to pry the screen off. But be careful the screen cable is located on the bottom right hand corner. So you don't want to damage that or cut it by accident. Now you're going to lift your screen up from the left to the right. You have seven Phillips screws you need to remove, so you can remove the metal plates covering the connectors. Once the screws are off, we can remove the metal plates. Now first thing we want to disconnect is a battery cable. Next we can disconnect the rest of the cables attached to the screen assembly. Now if you want to remove the battery, you have two pull tabs on the bottom. You basically pull those tabs off and press the adhesive underneath the battery off. You also have two more tabs on top. Once you pull all the tabs off, you just lift up and remove the battery. So comparing the 2020 iPhone SE battery cable to the iPhone 8 battery cable, the connector on the battery for the iPhone SE is slightly larger than the one from the iPhone 8. So even though they're the same size battery, they're not interchangeable. So you can see the iPhone SE in red and the iPhone 8 in black on the left. They're both pretty much identical design-wise and look-wise. All the internal components look the same. So we already know the batteries aren't interchangeable. Let's take a look at the cameras. So in order to remove the main camera or the camera which is on the back, you have one mounting screw and one Phillips screw holding down the plate. That's covering the camera which you need to remove. Once the screws are removed, you can lift up the metal plate covering the camera remove it and then you'll be able to disconnect the camera cable and then you'll be able to remove the camera so here's the camera from the 2020 iPhone SE and this is the camera from the iPhone 8 so you got the iPhone 8 camera here and the SE over here All right, let's pop in the iPhone 8 camera in the SE and test it out Go ahead and reconnect your screen cables. Once all your screen cables are connected, connect your battery cable. And then we're going to power on the phone. All right, so the phone's on. Let's go ahead and open up the camera. Camera's working fine. Let's go ahead and flip the camera. So you can see the camera's working fine. So the screen from the iPhone 8 also works on the iPhone SE. And the Touch ID isn't working since it's from the iPhone 8 and it's not matching the board from the iPhone SE that's on the screen. So pretty much all the parts from the 2020 iPhone SE are the same as the iPhone 8 and are interchangeable. So you'll be able to use the iPhone 8 parts, for example, the cameras, charger port, speaker, the vibrator motor will work on the iPhone 8 and on the 2020 iPhone SE. The only thing that isn't interchangeable and you can't use from the iPhone 8 on the 2020 iPhone SE is the battery. All right, let's continue with the disassembly. Let's disconnect the rest of the cables.
You have two Phillips screws on the top over here. You have to remove, there's one right here. And there's one on the inside where the frame is. Once those screws are removed, disconnect this flex cable from the board. And then you can remove this piece. You have seven more Phillips screws on top in this area you have to remove. Six of them are here and one is on the frame on the inside. Right there, you have to remove all those. Once the screws are removed, you can remove these covers. You now have one more Phillips screw underneath you need to remove. And then we're going to remove this piece. We have one cable here we need to disconnect. At this point, you're left with three standoff screws to remove the main board. Once your standoff screws are removed, you have one more Phillips screw over here in the corner you need to remove. So you can remove this bracket right here that's over the main board. Once you remove that Phillips screw, you can lift up and remove this bracket, which looks to be holding an antenna cable or something. Now, before you can remove the main board, you have one more Phillips screw hiding underneath this foam padding right here. Once that screw is removed, you can finally lift up and remove the main board. So here's a better look at your main board. You have graphite film covering both sides. Next, we're going to remove this bracket down here. You have one tri-point screw over here and two Phillips screws you need to remove. And then we're going to remove this bracket. Now we have one connector here we have to disconnect. Once you disconnect that connector, you have two Phillips screws you need to remove, one on this corner and one over here. Now that those screws are removed, you can lift up and remove the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at your speaker assembly. Next, we have two Phillips screws here we need to remove, so we can remove that plastic bracket. We now have six Phillips screws we need to remove on the bottom portion. And we have one standoff screw right there we need to remove. Two of the six Phillips screws are on the inside of the frame next to the charger port. Once you remove your screws, you have two microphones which are held on with adhesive. Make sure you pry them off the frame. At this point, we can peel off the flex cable for the charger port. So here's your Taptic Feedback Engine or your Vibrator Motor right here. And it's connected underneath this cable over here. So you can disconnect this flex cable by popping it up. Once you disconnect it, it's held on with adhesive to the bottom of this cable so you'd be able to just pry them off and remove them. Your charger port has a rubber gasket around it. So at this point, you're left with the frame. You have your volume keys over here and your vibrator rocker over here. The flex cable for that runs over here. There's the connector for the board. You also connect to your power button switch over here and your flash for your camera. Now for the screen, we've got 10 tri-point screws, six of which are on the sides, and you got four on the bottom over here where the fingerprint reader is. You also have six Phillips screws on the top portion over here by the speaker and camera. Let's go ahead and remove these covers now. In order to remove this back plate over here, there's adhesive over here underneath on one of the cables. So you're gonna have to pry that off. You can disconnect your fingerprint scanner down here. And then there's some adhesive holding down this cable as well. So pry it off gently so you don't damage the cable. And then you just push in your fingerprint reader. Comes out like that. Now we can remove the speaker on top. And you're left with your proximity sensor on top over here, along with your camera over here. And if you want to remove this, you just have to pry off this cable over here. Same thing, it's held on with adhesive. So just put a flat tool underneath it and just pry it off. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put the phone back together.
And once everything's back in place, power on your phone. And you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.